very smart. And he gave one woman, one fair lady will come here this afternoon. She said, make her give her guy this letter. And say they very important. Say now for from her office. She, she said, man, no give you. So just hold on like this. What's her name? Juliet. Standing now, Juliet. Juliet. Uh, yes. She they carry low cuts. She carry low cuts. She fair, fine. She has a big hip. <coughs> Bam! She get big hips. She they carry shoulders. So she they do shakara. That's so that she. Okay. Uh, uh, she even give it one thousand. <laughs> Still can use her whole body. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can go back to your post, okay? But she still might not give you, so make I know, I don't know. Don't worry, it's okay. Uh, all right now. My name is Juliet. I have been trying to reach you for a very important business with our company. But your SA? Mr. Smart has refused to let me see you unless he sleeps with me. Please, sir. This is not good at all. I was told that this is what he does to all the women who want to see you. I did not believe it until he did it to me. Sir, do something about it and save the reputation of your company, please. Thanks and God bless you for all the things that you are doing for the oppressed people of this city. Juliet, your secret admirer. Juliet, I thought you were just foolish until I read your letter. <laughs> now I know that you are a complete goat. You tried to bribe a security man of a billionaire with 1K. <laughs> what a miserable loser are you? <laughs> See, let me tell you, if I ever set my eyes on you anywhere, I'm going to paint that environment with your blood. Idiot. Bitch. Star. You are smiling now. No, the well, No, when, I, when I was advising you, you are, you are doing me like this. No, like you have ego, ego, ego. It's not like that. The designer sent me right this, so I'm supposed to pick. And she's and she's still sending more. Because yeah. I have some inside, yes. Yeah, designer's designer. <laughs> you, you all of you, you are buying these things. Just yes. look at, look at, look at. Just for ordinary introduction. What would I wear? You know I don't have anything. What for you? I don't understand. I, tell him to give me. I'm a fake. I'm more packaging. I'm not okay with the fire extinguisher. I don't have shoes. Yeah. To tell him now, let me find... Let me ask you, what about the money they gave you to renovate our village house? Eh? Ah, our village house, I can't go village house. <laughs> All this money I've been, I've been bringing to the house, giving my mom to buy food, giving my mom to e buy one or two things. E Where is it coming from? It is, am I not the one that bought this bag of garri, bag of rice, which they will... Mm. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> See, let me just tell you, no don has yeah. business. You know, he has investments. He has staffs that he paid, yeah, some are on daily, some are monthly, you know, and he has a um, endorsement, you know, ambassadorship, so many things, so many yeah. deals. It's a lot on him, you know, you don't, you, we don't want to milk him dry. Uh, go ahead and school me. In a, in a muguna. <laughs> if not for, for, for my effort, we you have all these things now. No, I, I, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be realistic now. But you know he has been. Mission, tell him to give me something. Shoma, please help me talk to your brother. You are a woman and you know how these things work. You know that sometimes babes misbehave. Hmm? But I still love him and want to marry him. Hmm, Juliet. Are you the one saying all this? 
I knew how my brother loved and invested in you. But what did you do? You littered him like a filthy rag. All those things are in the past, eh? Allow them to be in the past. Look, you are my friend. That's why I came to you. Are we really friends? I knew you threw my brother as a wife. But you ended up spoiling everything by running away with one allergy. Do you know that Alaji already had seven wives instead of the one wife that he told me he had? <laughs> seven wives? Plus up to 12 concubines. <laughs> I practically ran away from Dubai after so many tussles and fights. I'm telling you. Hmm. Now, wow. So when did you come back? Like, like a year now. Eh? I've been working with one insurance company like that. But the wala of getting clients for them is too much. So last week I resigned. Now I'm looking for another job. You didn't even wait to finish your final exams in school. You followed Alaji to Dubai. Choma, I've told you. All those things are in the past. Bury them in the past. Just help me talk to your brother. That's all I want. Eh? Please. It's okay. You know they say to air is human. And to forgive his divine. Exactly. No problem. You will talk to him. I'll talk to you. Sure. Hey, fine girl. Hey, bunny black. Hey. Chocolate miller. <laughs> Chocolate brown. Uh, don't know why are you always like this. What we talked about is 50 million, not this 20 million you drop here. Yeah? This is what I have. It's either you take it or you go to hell. You're talking about her modeling here. But don't don't you think you are supposed to be taking care of me? Yeah? You continue taking care of me before my last day. You know I live a careless life. I drink, I smoke, I humanize. A car can just come one day, knock me off, and I'm off your neck. Instead of all these unnecessary threats. I'm not threatening you, Cherry. I am telling you what would happen to you. You don't deserve to leave. You are a miserable blackmailer, and I will take you out myself. Do you know you can do me anything? You can't possibly kill me because I'm a cat with nine lives. And I can't die in your head. You know why? I can't predict all your moves. You are going to take my money. You are going to eat it. But you never end well. Um, yeah, Dom. You know I don't believe in all this uh, God thing, karma thing. I live my life the way I like, and that's my religion. See, instead of all this uh, too many talk, just make up this. Money and forget about this uh, God thing, karma thing, because I don't belong that in that category. I got you. You will borrow the money that you have start from me. I got you. The life is miserable. And you're going to die like this. Miserably. As for me, oh, I'm going to live a very good life. <laughs> yes, I will have a wife, I'll have children, and live a very fulfilled life. But you, you are going to die a miserable death. No wife, no child, nothing for posterity. 
my friend. That is a song. I swear it. Take it. Eat it. But know it that for every day you wake up, you are one step closer to your grave. <laughs> Don't be too sure I'm done. <laughs> 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 Yes, I'm going to get on and Wow. You know you're a very fine girl, Joma. <laughs> you're a very beautiful girl. So my brother is out of town and he said I should tell you that he's no longer angry. Thank God! Yes, so he <laughs> So happy. Um, <laughs> so um he asked me to give you this gift. So Juliet. Yes, to Juliet. Um, and he said I should tell you that he would see you when he gets back from his trip to Port Harcourt. Are you serious? Yes. Oh. Yes. Look, I know that my Uche is still a very loving and caring guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is inside? I don't know how about you open up and see for yourself. So Juliet. Alright, no problem. I have to go. Uh, so soon? Yes, yeah, somebody is waiting for me in the house. Okay, you can go. Okay. Good Juliet. My gift. Who knows if it's money that is inside? Passed everything. weekend. Hi! Choma! Choma, it is very stupid. You are very, very stupid. You brought invitation letter to me and you told me that you, you don't know what is inside. See, you see this marriage. Thunder will thunder you people. Thunder will scatter the marriage in Jesus' name. All this thing that you people are doing to me. Good to be married to. You that drama, you are not fine. You are not fine at all. Your black is not shining. You think you are fine. My brother sent Juliet to school. Juliet abandoned my brother and abandoned her school in her final year. And now she wants to come and finish up my brother. Eh, on again. Eh, 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 eh. Your brother, ah, I know you. You don't know my brother. Chuku la kwa go kwebanu. You see, you turn down with fire. You want to come and kill my brother. Ne 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 called or chuck or maka. The fool be hot. I'll be going away for a few days. Smart will be coming with me. I I'll be traveling to the village for. My introduction ceremony. I'm looking to get married soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. The reason I called all of you out here is because I want this place to be taken care of properly. Even in my absence. Is that clear? Joseph. 
I do not want what happened the last time I traveled to repeat itself. Do not turn my house to your town's meeting hall. If on my return, I play back the CCTV footage of this house and I find that you bring people into this house, I am sure that you know what would happen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so do you. No <laughs> verse. You know what happen again. I hope so. Uh, let's all be up and doing to avoid consequences. Is that okay? Yes, yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. God made my life complete when I placed all my pieces before Him. When I got my act together, He gave me a fresh start. Hmm? Now I have lost God's way. I don't take God for granted. For granted. Excuse me. Chooks, chooks. Chooks, my dear friend. My wonderful friend. Chicks, I'm good though. I'm good. I'm just praying that God opens another door for me. My brother, I've suffered. I've suffered enough. I've suffered enough. What? Come on, Chicks, stop now. Stop, stop, stop. Stop pulling my legs, my friend. What? Are you serious? Chooks! Oh my God! Glory be to God Almighty! Chooks, I don't know how to thank you for what you've done for me. Thank you so much. Y yes, I'm ready. As I'm talking to you, I'm hundred percent ready. Okay. Tomorrow, the nine o'clock dot, I'm there. Chooks, thank you. Oh, you're happy. Hey, oh, Good something has happened. <laughs> ah, let be praised. Thank God. But what happened? Thank you, Jesus. I will praise His holy name. I will bow before the Your Lord. throne. I will ah, say thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now in the bottom of bread every day. Hey! I'll teach you this song, don't worry. <laughs> you know I don't know this song. I'm coming. Ah, uh, what's up? Chi, how are you? I'm fine. What up, Charles? He's inside. Let me get to you. Okay, hey, my guy. Uh, Charles. What's up? I'm good. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm safe. Yeah. So, <laughs> what happened? My brother, eh? The man who was recruited before me was dropped. How? He was dropped for forgery. They found out that his certificate was forged. <laughs> so they have to drop him immediately and ask me to start work tomorrow at 9 p.m. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. You know, I once told you that he doesn't share his glory with anyone. Right. Whenever everybody and everything has failed, God shows up. God indeed is a good God. Yes. What he cannot do does not exist. At all. You know that the job came with a good car and a wonderful accommodation. Oh my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. My brother, I really have to thank you. And I 
me to thank you. In fact, I thank you so much from my heart because you made it happen. You know, when all hope was lost, you gave me hope. You strengthened me with your words and everything and taught me to pray and I realized what I'm supposed to be doing. What I'm friends for? Well, I, I understand you because I was in such situation before. My was even worse that my own family all rejected me. Your family? Yes. But somehow things turn around. I'm here to recover fully. But at least no one thinks I'm a madman anymore. No, yeah. God. I mean. You know, my only regret is that the woman who was there for me to see that I I I survive in all this is no more there to see the light shining on me. Bad door. It's okay. That was a phase of life for you. A page. And that page, you must open it with faith and courage. And I would advise you to move on the same way she did. Because I'm very sure that was her wish for you. You're right. You're right, bro. Um, we need to step out. I need to go get some things and get myself fully prepared for, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, Chibai. Yes, brother. Oh, please. Um, oh, we have to go together. You need to help me, my guy. All right. Let's step out. Okay. We'll go get something. All right. <clears throat> Jerry, I have been calling you and you have refused to take my calls. Oh, I am here now. What is it? I want to go. Pay me off. You are going nowhere. You will stay here for the next one week to take care of me. Massage me when I want it. These are the things I've been doing for long that keeps me this early. And you. Oga Jerry, I don't have time for your jokes. I'm tired of staying with you. Pay me my money, else I will change them for you. I am not here for child spirit. But do you know who you are talking with? Huh? I mean, do you know who you are talking to? You are nobody. You are just a cunning bat. <laughs> Idiot. Where is he? He traveled. To where? Um, he traveled to the village for his wife's uh, introduction. What's the name of the village? Oganu, no. Uh, but they say it for Anambra State. Uh. Is there another means I can use to reach him? 
because it's very, very important. I need to speak with him. No, that means so. Eh, if you try, send a message. Because hmm. that place where they let's say network, they very bad there. Eh, make you try, send a message. Uh, you, you, you have a point there. You have ah. a point. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll try that. Oh. But in case you're able to reach him or he mm. comes back or there's any means of reaching him, mm. do not hesitate to let me know. And then let him know that I need to speak and speak with him. It's very, very important and urgent. Okay, please. okay, sir. I'll, I'll go. Very, very important. I'll go tell her. Don't miss that, please. Okay. Don't miss it. But I'll try send a message. No problem. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look who I have here. It shows you got my message. That is? Yes, madam. I got your message. Hmm. Madam, hmm. we have taken a lot of nonsense from you. And I promise you it will all end today. The last operation we had, madam, you told us that. No money was paid. 20 million naira was paid to you. And you deceived us. No, no, no. Who is feeding you with this nonsense? I ask you. Who is feeding you with this nonsense? What is this? What 20 million are paid by who? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I told you that this wasn't a business. So what are you saying? I you killed my girlfriend. Watch your talk. And don't forget that I'm your boss. And that is the price you pay for trying to double cross me. Price? Yes, you are my boss, madam. Well, let me tell you one thing that you fail to understand. A lion can never, ever give birth to a goat. I have a price for you too. Hey, hey, hey. Martins, don't do this. Martins, put that gun down. Martins. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Uh, Shall we go away now? Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, what did you come here? Uh, he said, won't see you. He did say, be very urgent. Did he tell you what it's about? Huh? Did he tell you what it's about? Uh, look at me. He didn't tell you. I uh, even tell him, he sent you a message. He uh, said, he sent you a message. That's fine. Okay. I'll give him a call. Welcome, Mo. Are you 
<laughs> you're not aware. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> okay, you're distracting me actually. Okay, but you're top, 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 top. Let me concentrate. Fine. <laughs> you're, that's what I was saying. First so, off, and then you. <laughs> okay, let's stop. I'm serious now. Let me hear your plan. I'm not talking anymore. Fine, talk. No, nah, I'm not. Please, talk. I'm going to bite you. Where? Where you want to bite me? <laughs> I thought you said stop. You said me. Please. You're bad. Bite me. <laughs> See? Ah. Mm. Okay, stop it now. Bite me. Seriously? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the plan. I'm serious. Oh, so now you want to hear the plan? I want to hear the plan. I'm serious now. What's your problem? Relax. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to run through it quickly. Okay. First, to start with the low key traditional. I like low key. You know, and then sometime in July, summer, we. I was thinking London, but um, France or Italy it would be nice for your wedding dress and my wedding suit. I don't know. I feel like it's just unnecessary and too expensive. What are you talking about? When a man is marrying a woman of his dreams, he doesn't think of his pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice punchline. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I'm good like that. I give it to you. I give it to you. But stop, stop. Listen, I'm trying to be serious. I okay. So, we get that done, we go for the shopping, and then when we return, we're going to have a beautiful pre wedding photo shoot that is going to trend on our blogs in this country for one strip month. I like Loki. Loki. I don't to know. What are you talking about? Yes, the pure issue. I don't know, but he said it's something urgent. But sometimes I listen to time to myself, so I don't know about me till my wife. Can this not wait? I think it's something serious, sir. Is that a visitor's lounge? It's fine, I'll see. All right, give me. Ah. Hey. These people need me, right? People have a lot of troubles and problems in this country. When they reach out to me, I'm always happy to help, right? This won't take time, I promise you. Just a few minutes. Uh, and okay. I'll be with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go back to this. Uh, see how your shapes in this area. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Just how weird it works. <laughs> I've been trying to reach you for two days now. My man told me. I have been out of town. He be go. Is that a problem? No. It's about the new coaching that is in the office. I'm learning. So, she called me to the office and it's telling me about the shop's sentence office. What is this petition about? It's about for another case sent to the commissioner's office by Jerry Golo. Well, for my findings, I realized that this Jerry Golo was more than two weeks ago. What he instructed the police fellow of his in case he dies down in the country. There's a forward petition. And as we speak right now, the petitioner has copied the first reporter and they are all in town. But to let you know that this is one, even as we speak right now, the FBI has also petitioned the Inspector General on the same internet fraud. What should your friend? I'm a very good friend of mine, he's very nice to me. And that is why I speak out of the office to give this information. So I would advise. You know, you've got no scare. You know that you're at stake in this information and scouts. 
dip you. Was this mad, Cherry? Cured violently. Well, uh, I can't really say categorically, but I mean, the, 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 the news of the girl that murdered someone in the hotel room some days ago. But she's in police net right now. Thank you. Hmm? Thanks for the kind gesture. It's fine, I'll act accordingly, yeah? Please make it snappy and be careful. Thank you. Are you aware that Jerry is dead? Dead? No. When? That information just reached me now. He also sent in a petition against me containing false accusations. Smart. Do you have a hand in this? No, boss. Jerry is a reckless criminal. Anybody could have killed him. I'd like to be alone. something I feel the need to tell you. I want you to know that life is not about all that we see here and now. It's about what we leave behind at the end of this passage. I don't know why I feel the way I feel. But I feel that my end is near. I'm not trying to scare you, but... I may be wrong. I hope that I am wrong. Because I want to be here for you. For a very long time. I want to be with you. In pure bliss. Explore the love that you and I have found. But I also cannot ignore how I feel on the inside. You already know that if I told you that I love you, that would be an understatement. Because what I feel for you is beyond love. But it has become imperative that you know more than you already do about me. See, I was born an only child of a nobody. Lost my father before I could. Before I could say my name.
My mom was my everything. I saw that woman suffer. I saw that woman toil day and night to give me a good life. As an only child, I was her pride. But in all of that, I can tell you that I experienced lack, hunger, strife, poverty firsthand. But at a tender age, I decided that I would not. That my circumstances would not define me. Cut a long story short, I got help from a friend at an early point in my 20s and I traveled abroad and I got into internet scam. I know. So that, so that. So that, so that, so that. Anything to get out of poverty, anything to change my story, anything to give my mother. I was already on a wheelchair at the time, a better life, anything to change my story. Please, baby, don't judge me. That carried on for, for some time. Oh, I made friends. The good the bad and the ugly but that shaped me into the man that I have become came back to the country with all that wealth I decided to go back to school got proper education and invested in business But you know, when you come from lack, mm. your biggest challenge becomes not going back mm. to where you're coming from, right? Yeah. I became an international businessman. Tried the best that I could to cover my tracks, but while at it, I was helping people. I wanted to give people what I did not get. But growing up, I didn't get the kind of help that I wanted. But looking back at my life, as imperfect as it is, I am happy that with the wealth that God has blessed me with, I have been able to help the poor, the sick, downtrodden, the less privileged. One of my happiest moments in life is when people troop in here to get help. However, It looks like my sins of the past is about to catch up with me. Even if I end up in jail, baby, I am going to live my life for my God.
to judge me. I want you to know that I love you. I have taken care of you like I promised I will, but even in my absence, you will be taken care of. I have made you a signatory to my bank accounts, home and abroad, just in case you never know. I'll put your, doc your name on the document of this house. I love you. I love you. I just wish I had more time with you. I wish I had more time to wrap my arms. But I believe that I have done as much as my might can carry me. Let me continue to live my life only for God. It's about what we leave behind at the end of this passage. I don't know why I feel the way I feel. But I feel that my end is near. I'm not trying to scare you, but... I may be wrong. I hope. But I am wrong because I want to be here for you for a very long time. I want to be with you in pure bliss. Explore the love that you and I have found. But I also cannot ignore how I feel on the inside. You already know that if I told you that I love you, that would be an understatement. Because what I feel for you is beyond love. But it has become imperative that you know more than you already do about me. See, I was born an only child of a nobody who lost my father before I could. Before I could say my name, my mom was my everything. I saw that woman suffer. I saw that woman toil day and night to give me a good life. As an only child, I was her pride. But in all of that, I can tell you that I experienced lack, hunger, strife, poverty firsthand. 
at a tender age, I decided that I would not, that my circumstances would not define me. For the long story short, I, I got help from a friend at an early point in my 20s and I traveled abroad. And I got into internet scam. Make you mine, make you mine 